Taylor. It His illegal seizure of the canal naturally had worldwide repercussions. It's as well to recall that the first act was the nationalization of this international waterway by Colonel Nasser, Egypt's... Power proposals put to NASA by Mr. Menzies were rejected. The second act was the attack by Israeli forces, which quickly overran Sinai and approached the canal. Then, after the Anglo French ultimatum had been rejected, British and French forces acted. The bombing of military targets was followed by the assault by paratroops. This operation was brilliantly successful, but after a few hours of ceasefire, surrender terms were refused by the Egyptian commander of Port Said on orders from Cairo. The landing of Anglo-French force by sea then became necessary, in order to consolidate the occupation of Port Said, and it was then thought the canal itself. But the fighting in Port Said was of short duration, and the advance down the canal was quickly halted when the United Nations call for a ceasefire was accepted. Most of NASA's sabotage in the canal was done, nevertheless, after the ceasefire. The next phase was the takeover by the United Nations Emergency Force and the withdrawal of Allied troops from Egypt. After more than 200 ineffective resolutions in past years, the United Nations had now taken action. So, at the end of 1956, responsibility for the canal and for the Middle East fell squarely.